Welcome back. In the last video, you have seen on how to implement database migrations, implementing user registrations, being able to display all the loots, being able to being able to change the, the the data on the dashboard, and I remember that's where we were on the last video. So in this video, we're going to continue with a password reset and some email verification. I'm going to show you on how to implement this. First of all. When you take a closer look to the loads on uh, where here it is, you can see that there will be some of the other loads like forgot password, which will be like this one and this forgot password. This is what we're going to start with. I'm going to see if now the user forgot the password, what the next stuff that we need to do so as to be able to, to be able to recover the password or to get the new password. If I further do, let's go ahead and uh, try to open this Lalafo app. And when we go to login, you will see that there will be this uh, link down here that's called forgot your password. When you click on here, you will see that you will be able to implement this loot and we will have to ask you for the email. And in that case, we will try to send you the, uh, the password reset link on the email. But before I continue, I have to show you what happens when you are going to send the email. When you hand over to the controllers, um on the app uh, uh, http and you go to the controllers and you go to it's called auth you will see that there will be a lot of files in here but when you take a closer look down here you will see that there will be a this password set link controller when you click on here you will see that there will be some methods for example there will be this uh, create uh, and it will return the auth for good password which is now the same view that we are having on here and when you take a closer look down here to it also use this to a method and in this case it will try to send the ring and to take the email as the uh, as where the the link will be sent all right i hope you have seen on how this is implemented and you can go in the file and take a closer look and you, you have to check if there is no i odd while i don't go to send the email so uh, i'm going to minimize my code editor and i'm going to come on the browser again as i told you in order to be able to get the emails uh, from verification and from the password reset link we will need the email client in this case i'm using this my mail trap and you can go ahead and you open your account i have my account in here and this mail trap is completely free you can go ahead and open your account and you have now the testing uh, side where you can test your projects or your email so when you go ahead and click on my inbox right here when i go ahead and click on my inbox you will see that there will be uh, this message that my inbox is empty and when you take a closer look on here you will see that there will be this smtp settings and there will be some settings regarding on how to use this and they will be on where to choose the integration in this case i'm using laravel so i'm going to choose laravel 7 plus which means that it will be 7 plus or from version 7 to the version that you will be having from now on it will be working like this one and it will give you some of the parameters that you need to configure in your files and you are going to go in uh, this env file that's where we will be putting this and in this env file that's the way we are going to paste all these arguments so as to be able to access this uh, mail client so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to minimize this and i'm going to uh, to open my env file and when you scroll down and you will see that there will be the mirror here and we are going to change these values to the values from this mail client so i'm going to Take the host as this one so i'm going to copy this and i go ahead and uh, paste it uh or mail host for the mail host yes it is i'm going to paste it in here and for the port i'm going to use 2525 25. instead of using this default one for laravel i'm going to go ahead and uh, paste it in here so i'm going to copy the username as this and the password it will be also a variable you can be having different uh, password from mine and that's okay because you can't have the same password all right so in this case it will also uh, choose the encryption method as a trs so i'm going to go ahead and paste it in here 
and it will also give us some uh, from address and yeah, i'm going to call this for example let me say that will be coming from uh, let's say support at anamedia.com all right and uh, the app name the app name that we choose it will be uh, this here up here so you can go ahead and call it for example let me say hano media like this one and in that case it will grab the variable there and to replace it with this one all right so after we are done doing this we can go ahead and test if it works so i'm going to go ahead and refresh this and i'm going to put in my email address as hanomedia at gmail.com and after doing that i'm going to go ahead and click on email password set link and wait for a moment to see if it will send us the password the set link all right you can see that it, it is telling me that we have married your password listening the set link so i'm going to go ahead and check my mail client and boom you can see that i have now this reset password notification when you click on here you will see that there will be this um, app name as hano media like i said and the from uh, you can see that the hano media is already the one that is sending this um, email and I can see that you are receiving this email because you received a password reset request from your account. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on the reset password and wait to will open this and you can see that it was able to open this again for the reset password and when you take a closer look to the roots you can see that there will be also the reset password that will be contained in here and that's the one that it will uh, bring so i can go ahead and input my new password like this one and like this one and press enter in this case you can see that now the password has been reset so if i try to log in again in here and try to put my password in it will be working like charm all right good i hope you're seeing on how this is now implemented all right so uh, there will be also some times when you need that every user that is going to be registered for example when i go on register you may be wanting to uh, request every user to verify the email as long as they are going to log in and uh, before they are logged in after registering they have to verify their emails by using this uh, mail uh, client or any other mail client that you can input in your project for example if you are going to put it on production all right so when you go to go back to the uh, file systems and i'm going to close this because you don't need it by this time and we are going to go to resources and go to the view and you go to uh, some of the auth uh, but before we do this, I have to take a closer look to the loots and I'm going to see now and I'm going to go to the loots and I'm going to go to the web. When we are trying to log in, there will be this middleware that we uh, that will be implemented before we go to the dashboard, and you can see that it was taking this argument as auth. And in this case, this middleware is the one that is controlling the uh, the authentication before we reach to the dashboard. And in that case, we can go ahead and look for the middleware, and we will see on where now the verify method is. And we'll be able to uh, to integrate this middleware into this um, statement so as to be able to verify the email before we continue to the dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and access the middleware somewhere from here. And I'm going to go to the middleware. And in this middleware, there will be a, a lot of files as you are seeing. But the one that you're going to target is what you call kernel. When you go to the request down here, you can see that there will be this kernel. So when I click on the kernel, you see that there will be a bunch of things in here. But when you scroll down, you will see that there will be this. Uh, the last variable that's called verified it will return this that ensure emails is verified all right so in this case i can go ahead and copy this and go back to the uh, loots on where we were here and instead of taking auth only i'm going to also add some other parameter like verified so in this case it will to will to will implement this to will implement the auth and verified so it will be able to 
do to continue to the dashboard when these conditions are met we need also to add the model to the user so i'm going to go to the mothers i'm going to go to the user and while i am in this user you will see that the first link will be I will be commented according to the level we are using and after installing the brace you will see that there will be these functions and methods and the first one is called must verify email all right and this is the one that will help us to be able to check if now the uh, verify email a feature is implemented so in this case when you take a closer look to this class you see that it will be the class user extends authenticable i'm going to go ahead and implement this must verify email uh must verify or i can go ahead and copy this because sometimes you make some typos and it will it take time to recover where the error is i'm going to go ahead and copy this copy and paste this uh, it was coming with all this but what we need in here is must verify email i'm going to copy this and i want to implement this all right and after doing this you can go ahead and check if this works and uh, to check if it works i'm going to go ahead and uh, try to register a new user for example i'm going to register a new a user called uh, maximum uh, chris for example you can call it the name that you need and the email for example is say maximum chris at gmail.com and for the password i'm going to put my very secret password in here and press enter and wait you can see that it will give you this message thanks for signing up before getting started you could you verify your email by clicking the uh, the link that will be sent in your email all right you can see that now the feature is working so when you go to the mail i will see that there will be this email but before we do that i have to show you something in the database to see what is going on here so i'm going to access my database very quick so i'm going to be opening my uh, zamp because that's the one that i use to manage my databases when i'm working on local most of the times i'm going to use the share and in this share i'm going to to try to log in my sql uh, right when you take a closer look so i'm going to try to minimize this so as to be able to increase this value you will see that there will be this uh, let me try to do this again and like this you see that when you take a closer look to it, it's called verified at you can see that it is now now and now but when you go ahead and try to verify when you go to our email in here and click on the email that is asking us for the verification and so let's wait when you click to verify email address we start I'm, I, I am able to log in to the dashboard and when you try to fetch the data again you can see that it was verified at this time and you can see that the uh, field is not empty like the first one all right that is now on how to implement this is a feature of now verifying the email before we continue and this feature the thing that i like a lot about it is even though you can be a uh, you can be having the, rec the the recent email you can be able to verify it automatically without needing to go back to activate the user or to activate the feature to the user for example when i'm going to try to log into this user that i was creating lately you can see that it was able to detect that it is not verified and to send me the verification email and when i go uh, here again i can see that there will be the email so let's wait for a bit all right so here it is so i'm going to go ahead and click on here and verify the email address in this case you can see that now the previous user that we were having before verifying is also verified in here and it's very cool all right so the last but not least there will be the time when uh, some users will be coming and they try to uh, attempt to log in with some passwords that are not uh, right and they are trying to 
to make the system like busy or sending many requests and you have to avoid that because sometimes there are some people who who are performing the brute force attack and they can guess like millions of password on your system and in that case they can cause a ddos attack on your system because they were able to send like enormous uh, requests so i wanted to show you on how to limit the login attempts uh, when the user is logging in and of course it will be done in the middleware like always and you will be able to uh, to remit the rec to the requests and i'm going to see to the login requests and to the login request, you can see that there will be this uh, function for the authorization, there will be the rules for the email and the password, and there will be for the ensure not rate limited. And you can see that they, they will do like this one. And you can see that ensure not, not limited is uh, ensure is not rate limited is now uh, implemented on here. You can see that too many attempts it will take like five attempts for example when you take a closer look and you put like three and there will be some of the seconds or the minutes that the user will be locked for before he or he should be able to log in again in this case you can change something here but i'm going to leave this as it is i'll change it for the times of the login attempts I'm going to go back and refresh in here. I'm going to try to log in with the fake data. For example, I'm going to put some gibberish in here. I said that the password was not uh, right. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do like this one. This is now the second. When I do for the third one and try to go for the fourth, can see that it was able to lock me and I can be able to log in after these seconds all right when I try to do this it will show me that I, I still have some of the seconds to wait all right I, I hope I didn't miss anything about uh, this Breeze. I'm going to stop by here. I hope you did have a glimpse on how Breeze works and you have some understanding on how this authentication system works. Let me know in the comment if you met with any problem, I will be here to help you. And uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and press the thumbs up. If you're coming on this channel for the first time, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.